Hi, my name is Jenny Von Hall. My name is Matt Shipkus. I'm Beverly Jenden Reedlinger. My name is Brian S. Lewis. My name is Mariana DeFazio. And my name is Russ Holm. And I will be playing Nora Helmer. And I'm playing Torvald Helmer. And I'm playing the role of Helen. I'll be playing Niels Krogstad. And I'm playing Christine Lynn. And I am playing Dr. Rank in A Doll's House by Heinrich Gibson. Why A Doll's House? Why now? Uh, let's see. Because when I hear that, I feel like, well, always a doll's house, always. <laughs> because the plight of women around the planet has unfortunately not changed that much. I think it's, it's, it's probably come to light more recently in the last few years with the whole Me Too movement and, and women speaking out, you know, and saying, hey, wait a minute, this isn't right, or I need this. And, you know, and, and it voicing their opinions, mm -hmm. and I so I agree that this is this is the right time to, for for this to come to the forefront again, and people to to come and see this and notice things like this. Mm -hmm. There's a wonderful uh, line from a, a poem by called "Archaic Torso of Apollo" by uh, Klaus Mar Maria Rilke, and the last line of it is, "You must change your life." So, it, and the line before that, for here there is no part that does not see you. You must change your life. And I think she comes to that realization in a way that is very, it's very moving and it's, it's heart-wrenching. And again, a little bit different than I've seen in other, in other productions. I see it almost as like a, a, a web, you know, or a knot. Uh, and I guess what I'm referring to is the, the patriarchy, and it's pretty tight. And so what we're doing is loosening that. And if we can just loosen the thread here and there, that maybe eventually the whole thing will give way. But I don't know if we're there yet. New life is being breathed into this very old, old play. And um, I think that that is not something that people should miss. I mean, with the wonderful lighting and, and uh, fantastic sets that Harlequin is always, you know, um, you know, known for using. And I mean, that's, that's just the same is true for, for this show. The reason to do this play now is because a lot of the issues that are present in the play, uh, the relationship between men and women, the power imbalance that exists in a patriarchal society, I think. This is something that has been pushed to the forefront of our sort of national discussion about these issues. Uh, in the light of the Me Too movement and uh, you know, a lot of the scandals that have come out that have, that have highlighted the uh, extremely poor treatment of women, uh, especially in the United States right now. This production needs to be seen because it is a fresh take on a classic that you may have seen it before, but you haven't seen this version. And given everything that's going on in the world, you will probably see something new in it. Ditto. <laughs> One of the things that Nora says to her husband in the very end of the play is, you mustn't interrupt me, you must simply listen. And I think that is what this play invites people into, is an experience of listening and watching and being inside a woman's world and inside of her mind and inside of her experience and inside of her transformation. So if you have the desire to climb inside someone else's shoes, then come.